Have you ever faced a frustrating error message while trying to manage your projects on GitHub Desktop? If so, you're not alone. Today, we're going to tackle the error that says, the repository does not seem to exist anymore. Let's get started. I completely understand how annoying it can be when you think you've successfully uploaded your project only to be met with an error. It's a common issue that many users encounter and it can feel like a roadblock. Here's the specific situation we're addressing today. One user uploaded a project to GitHub Desktop, but after deleting the repository, they faced an error when trying to republish it. Sound familiar? Let's dive into this together. So what could be causing this error? It often happens when the repository is deleted or renamed, or if there are access issues. Understanding this will help us find the right solution. And stick around, I have a great tip at the end that will help you avoid this issue in the future. To resolve the error message in GitHub Desktop, the user should first check if the repository has been properly recreated on GitHub. This is essential because the error indicates that the repository may not exist anymore. Next, the user needs to refresh the repository in GitHub Desktop. This can be done by navigating to the repository list and selecting the refresh option. If the repository is still showing the error, the user should remove the local repository from GitHub Desktop and then re-add it. This will help to reset the connection. Finally, the user should ensure that they are logged into the correct GitHub account in GitHub Desktop. This is important for accessing the repository without issues. Fun fact, did you know that GitHub was founded in 2008 and has since become the largest host of source code in the world? It's a powerful tool for developers. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution suggests that the error may be due to an invalid local path. This could happen if the path contains invalid characters or if you lack the necessary write access. To resolve the issue, try cloning the repository again to a different path. Then, open it with GitHub Desktop to see if the error persists. Now, let's see a response from a different user. One alternative solution comes from a user who faced a similar issue. They realized they had accidentally changed the push URL for their repository. To fix this, they used a command to reset the push URL to the correct one. Now, let's dive into a different answer from another user. One alternative solution comes from a user who faced the same issue. They suggest deleting the .git folder in your project directory, which you can find by enabling hidden files in Windows. After that, reinitialize the repository in the project folder. This method worked for them and resolved the error. Now, let's shift our focus to a different response. An alternative solution from another user suggests signing out of GitHub Desktop and then signing back in with the correct account. If you have multiple accounts, make sure to log out of any sessions in your default web browser as well. Let's take a look at another answer from another user. An alternative solution from another user involves correcting the repository URL in GitHub Desktop. They realized they had spelled the URL incorrectly. Instead of using myproject.it, they needed to use myproject.git. Here's the tip I promised. Always double-check your repository settings before making changes. This can save you a lot of headaches down the line. And there you have it. You should now be able to get past that pesky error message. Remember, keeping your repositories organized is key. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks.